Hello everybody, my name is Karim and today I am going to talk about behaviorism, especially classical conditioning with the Russian Ivan Pavlov. Ivan Pavlov researched the uh, physiology of digestions in mammals. This research leads to his interest in conditioned reflexes. He discovered classical conditioning. Pavlov's uh, dog is a well-known experiment in which Pavlov used classical conditioning. Ivan Pavlov trained the dogs to salivate when they heard a bell after he associated the sound of the bell with the dogs being fed, awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1904. As you can see here on the screen, this is Ivan Pavlov's experiment on the dog. There are three stages, as you can see before conditioning, while conditioning, and after conditioning. Before conditioning there is food which is a natural stimulus, we call it unconditional stimulus and the salivation of the dog is unconditioned response because the, the relation is natural and here we have neutral stimulus, the bell and there is no response because uh, it's not natural and the, while conditioning there is the bell which is natural, neutral stimulus plus the food which is unconditioned stimulus uh, and the dog uh, eventually responded or salivated, uh, we call it unconditioned response because there is still the natural stimulus which is food. After conditioning we omit the unconditioned uh, stimulus which is the food and the dog is still salivating to the bell and here we call the bell the conditioned stimulus and the salivation or the response is conditioned response. To fully understand classical conditioning, we need to understand two types of stimuli and two types of responses. And conditioned stimulus versus conditioned stimulus. And and conditioned response versus conditioned response. So there are two types of stimuli. Unconditioned stimulus, which is St a stimulus that produce a response without prior learning in this experiment it's the food and the, the second type is conditioned stimulus it, uh, it is a previously neutral stimulus that eventually elicit a, a conditioned response after being associated with uh, the unconditioned stimulus and this in this uh, experiment it is the bell and also there are two types of responses. The first is unconditioned response. It is a learned response that is automatically elicited by the unconditioned stimulus. And the second type is conditioned response. It is learned, it is a learned response to the conditioned stimulus, meaning peering the unconditioned stimulus and conditioned stimulus. Ivan Pavlov talked also about many concepts including generalization, uh, discrimination, extinction. Okay? So generalization in classical conditioning involves the tendency of a new stimulus similar to the original conditioned stimulus. In this experiment the dog might respond when it hears the sounds of the door or wrestling. Then discrimination. Discrimination in classical conditioning occurs when the organism responds to certain stimuli but not others. To produce discrimination Pavlov gave food to the dog only after ringing the bell, not after any other sounds. And last, extinction. Extinction in classical conditioning involves the weakening of the conditioned response in the absence of the unconditioned stimulus. For example, when Pavlov rang the bell repeatedly but did not give any food to the dog, it stopped salivating to the bell. Finally, classical conditioning is a form of associative learning 
in which a neutral stimulus becomes associated with a meaningful stimulus and acquires the capacity to elicit a similar response.